Welcome to Sandwiches of History. Today from culinary art put out in the 1940s. You know what? Actually, hang on a sec. Let's bring that cover back. Isn't this cool? Look at the color. Look at the composition. Look at it's doing that infinity mirror thing. This is from the 40s. It's brilliant. Anyway, from this uh, book that was put out by Keen's Mustard in the 1940s, we're going to be making the tartar sandwich. And yes, I am using Keen's mustard. So we're supposed to add a little bit of vinegar to this dry mustard and rub it smooth. Now we're to add ketchup. We set that aside. Yes, the mocha is out because we have to pound down some boned sardines, to which we add diced ham, chopped pickle combine, our mustard ketchup mixture. Then it says enough lemon juice or vinegar to make spreadable. And we put that on the bread. Yeah, it wasn't quite spreadable, but I was a little worried about how much lemon juice and vinegar I'd have to add already. So let's give this tartar sandwich a go. <laughs> wow. Between the lemon juice and the vinegar and the mustard. Ooh. The sardines are fine. They're a, a fine fish. I don't mind the sardines. The ham is getting completely lost. There's pickle in here in addition to the lemon juice, vinegar, and Cane's mustard. I think this sandwich was meant to appeal to someone who smoked like three packs a day or something, because this is crazy tangy. I mean, uh, yeah, this is one of those sandwiches where it's just like, I don't know what they were thinking. It's got vinegar, lemon juice, pickles, Cane's mustard. I mean, they should have just called it the super tart sandwich instead of the tartar sandwich. It is crazy off the charts, tangy, sour, and it's not my cup of tea at all. Um, I would give that sandwich, it does have nutritional value. So if I was starving, I could hork that down. I'd probably give that a two and a half, maybe three. Um, but I am not going to waste any food trying to plus it up into something I want to eat because I do not want to eat it because I have options. And yes, I know I'm fortunate for that. All right, going to find something else for lunch. See you tomorrow. By the way, if you've ever wondered why I mostly do half sandwiches, this is the reason.